Google motherfuckers, these videos are so hard to make. Because yeah, sure, they're funny in the moment, all right? You look at these people, you think, oh my God, they're so crazy, they're so silly, they're ridiculous. But then, when the camera stops rolling, you sit back and think, oh my God, if we get invaded, we are so f***. In saying that, let's sit down and enjoy these woke TikToks part two. Let's see, so um, I find women, men, trans people, non-binary people, attractive. Thanks for sharing that, you fucking reptilian. What is going on here? I just don't follow, I don't feel like I fall into any categories that society wants to put me in. You have a giant hole in your fucking nose and not your nostrils, it's a third nostril. You got pink tattooed eyes. We know you don't fit in. We know, of course you don't. You can't dress like that and expect to fit in, that's insane. So, are we assigning our baby a gender? And if so, what is that gender? So, short answer is, we are not assigning them a gender, socially. Wow, that's a great way to fuck up a child's life in five seconds. Nice one, gents. But we will be assigning them one legally. That's good, that's, I thought you were fucking insane for a moment. We will be providing a cis-friendly pronoun option um, for like elderly relatives and stuff who like have a hard time getting it, but we're not announcing that to the internet at the time. A cis friendly option for relatives, maybe older people who have lived a life that was, I don't know, slightly difficult. Maybe they fought in World War II. Maybe they grew up uh, with parents from the Great Depression and they realize what real hardship is like. And then you're there saying that your baby's a Zezer and they'd prefer to storm the beaches of Normandy than listen to your shit. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. What you guys doing? Get out. What are you guys doing? Get out. What's wrong with you? Don't touch me. Don't you have to. Don't touch me. Oh. I remember these two ladies. Okay, so they're in an elevator and they're terrified because there's a man in there without a mask. Okay, the evil. Now, he happens to be a man of African descent. So what do they do? They start screaming at him and then they hit him. Watch this. Do not touch me. Yeah, I'm not touching you. Oh, did you just hit me? Did you just hit me? You just hit me. You just hit me. You just hit me. Black Lives Matter! Yo, Black this is great! Wow! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! So they hit him! And then it's all good because they yell out Black Lives Matter. So that's that's the lesson for everybody here. You can basically do whatever you want to someone as long as you yell out Black Lives Matter. It's the same as if you cut someone off on the road, you give them the thank you wave, it's all good, right? So if you assault a black person, all you have to say is Black Lives Matter and you're good, you're forgiven. Everybody's singing, you know, have you heard of the LGBTQ thing? I can't do that because I identify more than one thing on the spectrum. Oh, why, why, why would you identify as more than one thing? Why do you put so much emphasis on how you identify? Who cares? Why do you need all of this constant reassurance that what you are is valid? Like if you're constantly looking for other people to give you validation, you're gonna have a tough life, mate. First, trans. Panromantic. What? Come on, what else, buddy? Demisexual. Demisexual, okay. And there's another one, but I forget how to pronounce it. You have another one that you can't pronounce. And why is it important? You can't pronounce it. That's that's how ridiculous these people are getting. They're making up so many words that they can't even pronounce them anymore. You're, you're learning a new language. That's what you're doing. I've got to find out what demisexual means. Demisexual people only feel sexually attracted to someone when they have an emotional bond with the person. So they, they like like them. Is that what you're saying? A demisexual person is someone who like likes people, like feels love towards them. Is that not a lot of couples? Am I? So I'm a demisexual. God, the world was a lot simpler when you either like dicks, or vag, or vag and dicks. So I need y'all to deconstruct the way a professional needs to look because that's, that's white capitalism. Ah, uh, yes. Dressing up for work. That's racism. I agree. <laughs> She should be in the Ukraine. First of all, she's obviously hasn't washed a car in a while. There's handprints all over it. That's disgusting. Second of all, who chose those boots for your love? They are a disaster. And also, shut up. That actually reminds me of another video that I saw here in Australia just the other week. Let's have a look at this. 
So this lady's just had a car crash. This is in Canberra, the capital of Australia. What are you doing? Where they're having protests at the moment. What are you doing? What are you doing, you fucking bogan slut? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Let's not attack bogan sluts, all right? That's my job. Get the fuck out of Canberra, go get a job and um, find something better to do with your fucking- What have you done? What have you- By the way, this lady um, who just told the other lady to go and get a job, who the other lady's a protester, um, similar to the protests in Canada. Uh, she, the lady in the car who had the car crash, is just an OnlyFans model. Oh, what's that? What are you looking for? Don't you want- She's young too, that's- She needs a- What are you looking for? Oh, she's a old love, so she's a soldier. Yeah, yeah. So get the fuck out of Canberra, because there are a lot of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's crap, and she. Oh, Holy dude! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, sorry, Emma. I'm so oh sorry. Oh my god, you look. You and, look she's trying to reverse idiot. out of it as well. You are fucked. You better call the police. Are you shut up all down? People are mad. People are mad at the moment. Lucky World War 3 is coming up. We need a fucking distraction. So this dude's dancing to that song. Celebrate good times, come on! That type of song. God, I'm a good singer. And he's dancing to white deaths exceed births in a majority of US states. All I'm saying is reverse the roles. Racism's not good either way. Undesirability of fat people is a myth. Bullshit. Bullshit. Sold to us by white supremacists. So the undi undesirability of fat people is a myth. Sold to us by white supremacists. Is that the undesirability of fat women or fat men? Because I don't see anyone out there going, oh, you got to love fat men. People look at fat men, they go, no, no, I don't want him. I want a hot guy, a hunk, all that type of shit. But you're laying in your bed with terrible lighting, mind you saying that white supremacists are the ones who say that you, as a fat lady, are unattractive. <laughs> okay. Can you stop showing off your fucking pimples, love, or what are they? Listen, I've got a disgraceful body, all right? I train very hard, I eat as well as I can, and I hate my rig. It's a bad rig. I got childbearing hips, all right? You don't see me going, normalize my psoriasis, normalize my dick cheese, normalize the fact that my underarms fucking stink like weed sometimes. I don't know why that is. Normal, fucking stop normalizing things. No one's saying that these aren't normal. We all have them. Hi, my name is Anna. I am dating everybody in the polycule. What? I am. What the fuck's a polycule, Anna? A polycule is a group of people who are connected through romantic relationships. So you're swingers. All right. Members of a polycule are not necessarily all in a relationship with each other, but they may be. Members of the same polycule who are not in a relationship with each other are called metamors. Stop making things up. What in the fresh hell does any of this mean? You're rooting around. That's all you're doing. You're fucking him. You're fucking her. You're fucking everybody. Congrats. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm married to Anna and she's currently my only partner. I am demi-romantic, which means I only get a feelings for people, like romantic feelings for people if I've been around them for a while and get to know them really well. So, you're just rooting Anna and Anna's rooting everyone else. you demi-romantic. Hang on, did he just say that? I was thinking about what I was going to say. you demi-romantic. Oh my god. I've worried in my life that I was going crazy. I think most people have those worries at some point. Oh, I'm going crazy. Oh my god. These people are crazy. My son is going to be two in September and I want him to get used to wearing a mask. I need tips on getting your child to wear Junior. I've just been having him wear it around the house. Oh my god. Russia, leave the Ukraine alone. Blow me up. Did you know that fat people work out without wanting to become thin? Did you know that's bullshit? As a former fatty and someone who dabbles in between uh, being a little bit chubby and alright. <laughs> That's bullshit. So apparently people in the comments are confused on my gender and pronouns. So here's another video um, for the people who are respectfully asking. So I'm gender fluid and if you don't know what that means. It means she goes from a boy to a girl and apparently by her hair a peacock. Imagine that an adult male uh, wants to have sex with a 12 year old girl. 
Fucking what? A very standard, very widely held view that there's something deeply wrong about this. And it's wrong independent of it being criminalized. It's not obvious to me that it is in fact wrong. I think this is a mistake. You, who? What? You think that a child having sex, a, ch a child, a 12 year old having sex with an adult is not wrong. Even if you are looking for a threshold, let's say there's a threshold, I'm, I'm making this number up, but let's say it's at age eight. Um, still, that tells you that some adult child sex is permissible. Second, the notion that it's wrong even with a one-year-old is, is not quite obvious to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very rarely speechless. Okay, but I am speechless here. My pronouns are a little bit too complicated to fit in my bio. If your pronouns are too complicated to put in your bio, that's a lesson for you to pull your head in. Everything I say about gender is influenced by my whiteness. Please, please stop telling me how your whiteness influences things. Please stop. The rejections of gender and gender roles that I create and embody will still come from my whiteness, those acceptable to my constructions of self as a white person. I will likely uphold and encourage white beauty standards. Everything you've said in this video is a word salad. Give me a fucking Caesar salad and fuck off. Oh, here's a good tweet. I like this one. Good fun. This is a college short paper. Explain why the Taliban are not terrorists. You are not allowed to answer this question in any other way. Any attempt to avoid the answering this prompts as written uh, or trying to argue otherwise will result in a failing grade. How is that a question? That's not a question. That's a, hey, agree with this. Do it now. <laughs> Fucking... No wonder people don't go to college anymore. My mom doesn't matter if I'm up, if I am gay or a lesbian or any of that. She doesn't care. All she cares about is that I'm a part of it. And if I'm not a part of it, she'll try to convince me to uh, um, get, join it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Look at the mother's face. Because I... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was a weird fucking video. If you want to see more of these, let me know. And I, I do enjoy making them, so uh, they basically write themselves. So, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks. Toodle wah wah, blah blah. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the video. Your support means absolutely everything. If you haven't subscribed, do it right now. You keep me dogs fed, and I love you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, there's three new videos on this channel every week. And if you want more, you can head over to Little Buttsman, which is the second channel. Ladies and gentlemen, there is more. What about the podcast each and every week? week it's available on spotify and youtube as well and i'm also on tour right now around the country doing my show cancel me now stand-up comedy is back ladies and gentlemen and please for christ's sake follow me on instagram i'm very lonely love you bye